All right, so I'm about to go ahead and give you the reason that I closed B School for Hustlers down. And what's going to happen? Because I've hit, been hitting up with a lot of emails and I'm not answering the emails because it's just like, it doesn't make, it's just not effective to go one by one by one and to get in these email loops. So this video will answer all of your questions. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the reason I shut it down. The name, B School for Hustlers. During the retooling of the brand, I'm getting away from hustlers, I'm getting away from side hustles, I'm getting away from hacks, because I have 20, 30% of the people who watch the channel who are legit, progressive people. And what I'm about to do is lean heavily into that group. So that's what's going to happen with that. I'm going to lean heavily into that group, hence the name change. The biggest channel is now going to become the financial channel. Um, what used to be Savage Finance, which used to be uh, the corporate game, is now going to be the economic update channel. And I'm bringing Disruptive Mail back. So let's go ahead and answer what's going to happen. All right. You're subscribed to B-School for Hustlers. I'm not adding any more training to that site, but I am not removing any training. If you were a member of Hustlers Kung Fu, that website is still up and everyone who bought a course, because I got a lot of questions, what's going to happen? Am I going to have access to the course I bought? I'm like... I don't know what this thing is. I have never actually deleted a course or canceled a course or removed a course. If you bought it, you will have access to it forever, which leans into the next thing. I'm not moving B school from hustlers content to the new platform. Why? Because you, you have access to where it is. It doesn't make any sense for me to move it. Not to mention, it's a huge pain in the ass. It is a huge pain in the ass moving an online course. Uh, I will tell you what happened. And this is what happened with uh, the Glendon Cameron School. I moved the course and there was some glitches and there was some problems and you just get a whole bunch of emails. So I am not moving any of the content from B school from hustlers. I'm not moving any, uh, no, no, no. It's gonna stay there. And as long as you have your email address and your login, you will have access to those courses. Uh, now, this is what's gonna happen. The courses at the um, successful business model are gonna be completely brand new. They're gonna be completely different. And that's why there's nothing there. Because here's the thing. If you were a member of uh, the B School for Hustlers courses, you had a lot to work with. So I'm not in no hurry because what I'm going to do is build out the money management course and we'll build it out completely differently. Um, and what I'm going to do once I get that built out is I'm going to shut down the Glendon Cameron School and then I'm going to bring everyone over here because this is the thing. It's about efficiency. It's about uh, it's about building out something that will be better, more helpful. Because one of the things I've learned, I've been building online courses. I would say close to the last ten years. And I've learned a lot. I've learned how to build an online course. And more importantly, I've learned how to structure an online course. So your, your, your courses are not going anywhere. You're not going to lose access. You're not getting locked out. And once again, I am not moving any of the courses to the new platform. I'm, I'm just not doing that. It, it makes no sense. So this is what I'm getting ready to do. And let me explain what I'm doing. Um, you guys know that I was looking for other companies. Uh, 
hence the car rental business, other opportunities for businesses. And it hit me. This has been the most successful thing that I have done. And looking at the estimates of what's going to happen with the online training world, it's just going to grow. And if I build these courses correctly, they become evergreen. And let me go ahead and just kind of share with you what I want to do. I have a certain sum of money in my business checking account. And it's taken me a few years to acquire this money. And my goal going forward is to make in one month what I made in 2020. And my other goal is to make in one year what I have in there. Because frankly, what I have in the business checking account, I could retire. I could live off that without investing. But I am relatively young. So I'm challenging myself to build more durable net worth. Because what I have, I could live quite a long time, but I would have to be careful. Because let's say I'm 56, I live another 30 years. I would have to be somewhat careful because 30 years is a long time. And if you just have a set sum of money that you're eating off, eating off, eating off, and it's not growing, uh, I can make a few mistakes and literally be in trouble. And let's say 20 years, I do fine, which would put me at 76. And then if I live another 10 years, you know, who, who, who's to say what's going to happen? So my heart attack taught me that having a up and running driving business is better than having a you know, unless the lump sum is like a hundred million, something like that, which I don't have. But what I plan on doing, because I'm addicted to this lifestyle, I'm addicted to driving Porsches, I'm addicted to living well, I'm addicted to eating steak whenever I want to, I'm addicted to this lifestyle. And for me to maintain or enhance or upgrade this lifestyle, I need to make more money. Because, you know, the story with the Porsche. Um, I saw that car in 2016. I didn't get it into 2020 because I had to make more money. And I'm looking at the opportunities. Because this is why I am so pissed at the YouTube algorithm. Because I could have made like another $17 million if the YouTube algorithm had recommended me to a wider audience. Andrew Tate, who has a black father, but he presents white. And the bulk of his audience is white. And um, when I get to the digital YouTube training, I'm going to show you some YouTubers who are black, who have white audiences, and their channels have literally blown up. So, in me taking ownership of the things that I have done wrong, I'm correcting those deficiencies. This is one of the reasons that I deleted all of the content on all of the channels. It's all gone because I am going to reset the YouTube algorithm. The first video that I put up is an extremely nerdy topic. Uh, I knew that video wasn't going to get a lot of views because it's not inflammatory or explosive. Once again, I'm saying I'm leaning into you guys because you guys get it. So I'm not going to make any more. You know, the Andrew Tate stuff was just an experiment to see how many assholes I had on the channel. And good Lord. Uh, if you are watching Andrew Tate and you're watching me. I've heard because like I said, I don't consume his content, but I've heard that. We talk about similar topics, which is proof positive that if I wasn't limited by the YouTube algorithm, I would have made more money. 
And that's the thing that just, I mean, I would already be at my financial goal if it wasn't for the racist bias of the YouTube algorithm. Because since I started talking about this and uh, the real estate trappers talked about it, other people have talked about it. You start to notice some stuff because I, I will tell you, I will share with one of you and we'll go into there is a black YouTuber by the name of Nomadic Introvert who's been on YouTube six months. And she gets two to all, two, two million views per month. Why? Because she's in the van life niche, which is extremely white. She getting she's she's probably making ten to fifteen thousand dollars per month. I know it's probably shocking the shit out of her because her whole intent was to get in the do van life, get in the van and roll around. And she had no clue that this was going to be probably the most financially successful thing she's ever done in her life. So. I understand YouTube better, and this is why I'm making the changes, because I'm making the changes in the training. I'm making the changes because uh, I'm going to put up a lot of content this month, and then I'm going to kind of slow it down. But, you know, at the moment, there's nothing on, on the channels because it's like uh, I'm kind of like starting from scratch, which and then I kind of looked over some of my older Kala and some of those videos um, may resurface. But one of the things I've noticed was and this is something I have to take ownership of. There was a negative tone to a lot of videos and in the YouTube world. People can't deal with negativity. They, they don't want to deal with the truth. So I'm going to continue to tell the truth. But I'm going to spice it up a little bit. So hopefully this answers all of your questions. If you have bought anything at B-School for Hustlers, it's still there. It will be there. Now, what, what I'm going to do in the future, probably next year, I'm going to because I have to pay to keep that site up. But I'm going to keep paying for it. And then I'm going to remove the custom domain probably next December. And then you will have a new a login. You'll have a new website. You, your login, your your email address and password will still work on the new site. I'll probably do that. And um, that's it. Once again, your 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 whatever you bought, you will have access to. It's not going anywhere. And uh, I'm just not going to move because look, look, here's the thing. As I've gotten into the corporate game and the corporate structure, as I am a practitioner, I've gotten better at it. I've learned things I didn't know. Um, give you an example. Let's take filing your taxes. Um, before I filed my taxes for my holding company, I heard all kinds of stuff on the internet that was totally incorrect. Totally incorrect. You know, and I was just sitting here like, oh, OK, so now I can put that in the training because now I know for a fact there's so much that's coming. There's so much that's coming and there will be a heavy focus on YouTube content. So, um, you know, and I probably may add some other stuff, but what I'm going to do is build out the money management course first and then the start your business course. And like once again. Uh, I may do the money management course and the YouTube course at the same time. Get those built out. I haven't really decided, but overwhelmingly, I know that you can make a lot of money using YouTube, a phenomenal amount of money. So I'm getting away and, you know, I, I've had a lot of people who are like, you know, the black wealth videos. I had to remove them because what they draw are black people. I need a wider audience. Uh, there's another YouTuber by the name of Jordan Welch. He has a very wide office, 3 million views per month. He's in the financial niche. Jordan may be making 50 to $70,000 per month from YouTube. I mean, once again, I, I am a truth seeker. I actually look at the real numbers. And I was like, OK, and I can kind of look back and see where I went wrong and some of the topics and some of the videos that I created. 
I can see what got me in this pickle, so to speak. I can see what got me into this situation. And I'm in the process of correcting my mistakes, correcting my um, thought processes, correcting, you know, I'm just cleaning up house, so to speak. And I know this was a big move because a lot of people, once again, the 25 to 30 percent of you, you guys get it. You're intellectuals, you're smart people, you can understand that. But once again, I had the peanut gallery. It's like, well, you know, you know, I put this one video up. Well, I'll give you an example. I put the, uh, the first video up on the YouTube channel and I got one um, non nerd tribe comment. I got one. So that tells me I'm going in the right direction because normally I get half or more would be from the peanut gallery, from these low class, low intellect black folks. I got one and I just went ahead and blocked him. And, you know, because here's another thing, the low class, low intellect black folks, instead of learning and it's like, hey, here's a guy who has a YouTube channel. He sells online courses. He's made millions of dollars. He has a Porsche. No, they're not trying to learn. They're trying to figure out what I'm, they're trying to figure out the hack. You know, it's like, I, I get so many comments about YouTube and literally you can actually see what I'm doing on YouTube. You can actually see, and I get a whole bunch of comments. Cause like, what's the secret? What's the secret? And this is what I get because this is something that you may run into when you start your company. You may hire someone who's only getting the job so they can learn from you so they can quit and do exactly what you're doing. And that's one of the biggest issues I have in the um, the, the the low class black constituency of my YouTube channel. They're not trying to learn from me. They're trying to figure out some shit they're trying to figure out some stuff. And instead of learning and listening, they want to debate. They want to go ahead and put up their hypothesis. They want to put in their statements because, number one, they're extremely jealous. Number two, they're extremely insecure. And number three, they're extremely weak and poor. And that's what I'm trying to get away from. So that first video, even though it didn't get a lot of views, it got the correct views and this is one of the things i'm going to teach in the youtube training because see i have seen the power of youtube youtube is extremely extremely powerful if you use it the right way and if i can get the correct views i'm going to tell you something if i can get to about thirty thousand views per video of the correct views that's 50 to 100k per month just youtube revenue now, that's just YouTube revenue. If I get 30,000 views per video of the right people, that may be a million dollars a month for my online course business. Let me say this again. That may be one to three million dollars per month from all. And this, this is why I'm frustrated. It's not like, you know, he don't like black folks. I mean, the, the issue, the issue is, these poor, degenerate, illiterate, low class black folks are costing me money because they're so fucking needy. They're so fucking needy. And I'm just sitting there like, man, if I could just. And part of the reason is because I have so many of them. And when that video I did in October of 2021 came out, that brought even more of these low class suckers. So. I'm I, I may be successful. I'm not because let me go ahead and explain what I'm doing. I'm running. I'm doing this and I'm running a faceless channel at the same time. And I'm going to create another faceless channel. And I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of experiments. So I have reset my all of my YouTube channels and I'm going to see what happens with the AdSense because now. The AdSense on my main channel wasn't set as a financial channel, but I made more money from the channel because I got more views. So we're going to see what's going to happen because I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip the economic content to the um, 
what used to be savage finance to corporate, fi- you know, and then I'm going to come up with a whole new uh, level of disruptive male content. So I'm excited because, you know, with all of the experiments I'm running, some got to work. That's one of the things, because I understand the do more principle. When you're doing more, putting out more, doing more, creating more, something's going to take off. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing so much, because I've come out of my semi-retired lifestyle. And I'm, I'm actually working quite a bit now, but I'm working for the future because let me tell you, if I can have. If I can make what I have in the bank. In a year and then next year do it again. You might see me in a private jet. Maybe. So it's very, very possible. It's just a matter of putting it all together. So that's what I'm in the process of doing. And that's what I am putting together. So wish me luck. And once again, be sure to check out this video so you can have all of your questions answered.